What's going on everybody? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are testing out Mono Black Discard. So uh, this is a little bit different. We have played some Mono Black Aggro lists. Uh, this kind of falls into a similar vein, but this is much more focused on the discard element. So we're not only going to be uh, trying to poke through a lot of damage to the opponent, but also uh, looking to kind of take over the game by just devaluing everything, uh, removing their hand from the equation. And so hopefully getting them into that that top deck position as quickly as possible. So that's kind of the, the goal overall of the deck. And then again, finishing it out with things like Rankle or Rotting Regisaur as kind of the aggro elements. Now, we do still have the Demonic Embrace here as a way to uh, increase value to things like Gutter Bones or Burglar Rat, uh, just as easy, easy ways to essentially get a very, very powerful threat very, very quickly. So. Uh, to look at the deck as a whole, uh, early in the game we've got Gutter Bones like I mentioned. Uh, it's a nice little 2-1 two two uh, that can come into play later even if uh, it's gone to the graveyard. You can kind of bring it back. Uh, Disfigure, great way to deal with early game threats. Uh, obviously against like Mono Red and things like that. We kind of want to just get rid of all of the little threats that they have uh, and this is a great way to do it. Uh, Burglar Rat, we run a four of. Unfortunately, one is a different kind, and that bothers me. But um, <laughs> it is just a little 1-1 one, one for two. But uh, when it enters the battlefield, each opponent discards a card. Uh, so that, again, kind of playing to that theme. Uh, Lily Outnose Triumph, a great, great card. I've been very impressed with this. Two mana, each opponent sacrifices a creature. Uh, if you control a Liliana Planeswalker, which we do have, uh, then they also discard a card. So this can be a really, really nice little two for one if we've got it. Uh, Tamaret, uh, Chosen from Death. Uh, this is a really nice card in this deck. Not only is it a 2x, and that x can go up very, very high in a deck like this, uh, but it also gives you a way to exile the cards that are discarded uh, from the graveyard. So this gives you a way to devalue things like the tight, like Uro, uh, or if they've got like an Elspeth Conquers Death, you can devalue it by getting rid of creatures or planeswalkers in their graveyard. So very, very powerful for sure. Uh, Yarox, uh, Finn Lurker. Uh, we've had this around for a little bit. It's a 1-1 for two. Each opponent exiles a card from their hand when it comes into play. That's perfectly fine on our end, and it, again, devalues their hand. Uh, and then this axe is a really nice beater as well. It's a little bit of a mana sink. Three mana, plus one, plus one. Just get in there for some damage. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Demonic Embrace, we've talked about. Gives us a really nice threat very, very easily. Uh, but as well, it gives us a way of bringing this back. So you can cast it from your graveyard by paying three and discarding a card in addition to its other costs. Now, that's pretty expensive. I get it. But uh, we do run full 24 lands. Very often, we don't need all of the lands that we draw. And so it's easy to sandbag those in this deck uh, to, to make sure that we can either pull this back or have a card to discard for Rankle, maybe, or whatever we need. Uh, Rotting Regisaur, obviously a huge beater, a 7 6 4 3. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, you do have to discard a card, but again, generally, we can sandbag stuff or just not worry about it. Um, and then, if we just don't have cards in hand, there's no downside. So, this is actually really, really good for us. Uh, Rankle, as we've talked about, a really, really nice, aggressive 3-3 uh, three, three for 4. Flying in haste, so it can really get in there, very evasive, uh, but also immediately getting in there is really important. Uh, you can choose any number of the following things as you deal damage. So it can either uh, each player discards a card, each player draws a card and loses a life, or each player sacrifices a creature. Now you can choose any and all of these uh, and get just tons and tons of value. Uh, because a lot of our creatures are things like Gutter Bones or Burglar Rat, we don't care if we have to sacrifice them. Uh, and so generally speaking, we can really get in for, for some major hits with Rankle. I love this card. Uh, and then lastly, Liliana, Walker of the Dead. This is the new one for, Cor or Waker of the Dead, excuse me, from Corset 2021. Uh, four loyalty, four mana. Uh, plus one, each player discards a card. Each opponent who can't loses three life. So this does in turn kind of give us a finisher. Uh, but minus three, uh, target creature gets minus X, minus X until the end of the turn, where X is the number of cards in your graveyard. Obviously, we will be filling our yard with things like Rotting Regisaur, uh, being able to discard our cards and hopefully fill it up that way. Uh, or just any number of our other stuff. Um, and so we can actually just start killing some of the opponent's things, which is great. Uh, the minus seven is great, but I don't know that we'll ever actually get there. You get an emblem uh, with at the beginning of your combat on your turn, put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control and it gains haste. 
Uh, that can obviously be great. We can start really taking over the game, but I uh, don't really think that that's as feasible. I think we're looking to win before we can get there. Uh, like I said, full 24 lands, 20 swamps, and then four castle locks, Wayne, just as a little bit of card draw uh, to make sure that we don't run out of things. But that's it. It's pretty straightforward. So let's jump into some games. I'm excited about this one. I like this deck a lot. Uh, lots to talk about as well uh, in this episode. We'll talk about that stuff as we go through. I'm going to take a sip of water first. I'm thirsty. Mm. Tasty. I got this new water bottle. Uh, this is not sponsored. Vimini. I don't know what it is, but it's great. All right. Do we keep this? I think we do. It's a little bit slower than we'd like. Uh, we don't have anything like a gutter bones or anything like that, but we do have a nice two, three, four uh, into either one of these, really, uh, if we'd like. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead and get Tamarat down. Chances are this is just going to eat like a shock, um, but Rotting Regisaur potentially just gives us a way to kind of win the game. <laughs> Very, very easily. Uh, we'll see, of course, as we go through. Um, so, like I said, lots to talk about. Um, first and foremost, uh, the Double Masters giveaway is open. Uh, if you're interested, you can get a free draft pack. All you've got to do is subscribe to the channel. Like I said, eat a shock. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, comment on any video with hashtag Double Masters, and that's it. Um, we will be choosing the winner on Monday, uh, August 10th. Um, I believe is the date. Uh, so do stay tuned for that. I'm really excited about this giveaway. I'm excited about the set. Um, and so if you're interested, that's a great way to kind of pick some stuff up early. If, uh, and, and I'm only saying this because, well, two reasons. Uh, one, international people, as well as uh, the jumpstart fiasco that's been going on. Uh, if for some reason you are, uh, or, or they don't uh, have the print run ready or anything like that with the issue with the jumpstart stuff, we do have a contingency plan. Uh, we will uh, be giving you a PayPal payment of equal value instead. Um, and that's just a straight payment. You can technically use that on whatever you want. Ideally, it's for the draft pack, but we can't control that. And we know that, so we're not going to worry about it. Um, also, hmm, what do we actually want to do here? This is kind of questionable. Um, I think we'll do this. I think this is good. Uh, and we'll just make them discard a card, I think. We, we've we got a really good board presence here, so I'm not tremendously worried about what they could have. Uh, we could also just, like... Eh, we'll see. We each would have to discard a card, right? Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll do this instead. Get rid of this guy. And then we'll just leave up the Rotting Registor, probably. Do you think that's right? Hmm. Oh, they just shock it. Okay, well then definitely not just leaving up the Rotting Regisaur. The only reason we would is to protect uh, Lily. Anyway, uh, so if you're international, it's the same contingency plan. Normally we cannot ship to you guys. I do apologize, but you are still welcome to enter. We don't want to be leaving anybody out if we can help it. Uh, and so if you're interested, uh, you, you follow the exact same process and we'll again do the same thing. We'll just send you a PayPal payment uh, of equal value. Um, so just a heads up there, that is available. Uh, we'd love for you guys to enter. And again, August 10th, uh, is the, is the release date for that. Let's get rid of that. Nice. Let's get you in there. Uh, we'll attack with both. This is a problem, but we represent a lot more damage right now. So I'm not tremendously worried about it. Uh, worst case scenario, we could just make them kind of sacrifice some things here. Uh, that doesn't really help us, does it? Hey, there we go. Um, let's make each player discard a card. Yeah. All right, cool. Got rid of a Torbrand. That's pretty good. Um, anyway, yes, so, uh, anybody who's welcome to enter that, they certainly can. We'd love to have you. Uh, second... Uh, JDC Season 3, we're getting our submissions in. We've gotten a couple of applications. If uh, you would like to enter uh, for a chance to be a part of that, there is a submission application on our website at itresolvesmtg.com. That link is down below. Uh, just click on the JDC tab and you'll be brought to the application. Uh, and we'd certainly love to have any and everybody uh, who has a YouTube channel and is interested in playing some very silly games. Uh, we do have a schedule already kind of set up. Uh, so that way we'll double check with you before we confirm whether or not you can be a part of it. But 
uh, we'd of course love to have you. Uh, and I, I think that this is going to be something really, really fun. Um, I'm excited. I'm really, really excited. I think it's going to be a great time. So uh, please do check that out. I think it'll be a really uh, interesting take on on a jank deck. Uh, and it just provides us with some collaboration efforts, which I think is going to be really fun. Uh, this technically wins us the game, doesn't it? No, not necessarily. It does not. They can just sacrifice this. That's fine. All right. But this does mean that they have to kill both of their creatures, I suppose. Yeah. Um, so it puts us in a decent spot. Uh, anyway, so lots of exciting stuff going on. The JDC, I'm really stoked for. Ooh, nice. I'm very, very stoked for. I think it's going to be a, uh, a really awesome and special event. I think that there's something really special about getting a lot of YouTubers together in one place. Um, and this gives us that opportunity, which is really not something we've been able to do before um and so this is truly something special that uh we've we've not encountered something like this before is what i will say uh does this win us the game it should means this can't block which is important that's pretty good let's attack in see what happens um nice good game that was a good game. I, I enjoyed that one. Well done by the discard deck as well. We didn't discard quite as much as I guess we would have liked to, but we see the power of Rotting Registor. That thing is just stupid good. Um, it's <laughs> so good. Uh, anyway, so JDC submissions are open. Please encourage. If you don't have a YouTube channel, that's fine. If you know somebody that does, uh, or if your favorite content creator uh, is out there and you'd love to, to see them as part of this, please uh, feel free, send them a quick note. Uh, we've re reached out to a few different channels, um, some of which have gotten back to us and said just due to scheduling, they can't do it, which we certainly understand. Um, but I think this opens the door for, I think just other collaboration efforts, which is not something that, again, we've ever really done before. I think that this really puts, um, gives us a little bit more, uh, I, I don't know how to put it, but it, it networks us in the right way uh, to help hopefully work with other people uh, which I'm just super super excited about so uh, let's do this go ahead and get one of these cards out of there nice um, Liliana's triumph is probably gonna be pretty good here uh, as well as just Liliana um, sure no blocks that's fine uh, ooh, wrinkle um, okay we'll pass uh, we can instant speed Lily's Triumph, so not, like, tremendously worried about that, to be honest. Let's go ahead and do it here, just to get rid of a threat. Uh, I do understand that if we could get the Planeswalker out first, then we could obviously make him discard a card as well, but we don't have a ton of time. Uh, sorry for the frame rates, by the way, guys. Unfortunately, that's just a network error that tends to happen, so it is what it is. Kind of surprising they didn't get rid of... That was a interesting call. It was a very interesting call. I thought they would get rid of the scavenging ooze. I guess this is a pretty uh, interesting deck for them to be up against where scavenging ooze is probably worth it, but okay. How many cards are in our graveyard? Not many. Hmm. I actually think we're going to go rankle first. Or, hmm. It's a bit of a tricky place. Uh, let's do this. We don't have to do this, I guess, technically now, but that's fine. Um, and then let's do this. Let's get a card out of their hand. I think that might be the best play. Uh, and we'll attack for one here. It doesn't matter too much. Um, we're giving them fuel for the ooze, which is a bit scary, but uh, we do have you know, some opportunities here. Whoops. Oh yeah, obviously we can't block that. Okay, do that. Block, save ourselves a little bit of damage here. A second wrinkle. Okay. Hmm. This is interesting. So we can't just do this. Uh, I kind of like this. Yeah. Let's do this. 
Get a couple damage in. Each player sacks a creature and discards a card. We're going to get rid of Rankle and obviously the Burglar Rat here. They have to get rid of one of these two, frankly, very good threats. Um, yeah, Scavenging Ooze. That works. Um, and then that just means that now Lily can take care of this Questing Beast as soon as we get her out. So that hopefully puts us in a decent position, but we'll certainly see. Ooh, that's good. We still get to deal with this, but that's very, very good. Okay. Castle. Let's get this out there. And let's get rid of Questing Beast. Now we're both in top deck mode. Um, granted, we have Castle Lock Flings, but we've only got four life to play with here, so do have to be a bit careful. Uh, obviously going to do this. Uh, we will do this just again because I think we kind of have to. <laughs> and we'll just play a land. All right. Land v. Land. Um... <laughs> don't love that. I think we just have to do this. Um, again, we just have to be super careful. Oh my goodness. Uh, do we do it? Let's do it. Let's go down to one. Why not? <laughs> Alright. Sure. Yeah, dude. You got it. Gilded Goose. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, really? That's kind of terrible. Um, I think we just plus up here. There's no way, reason not to, really. And we can just start eating some of these things. So let's get rid of this. We do gain some life for, uh, for all this, obviously, which is helpful as well. And I'm doing this on my turn because it it unfortunately just kind of doesn't matter <laughs> uh is really the takeaway here but we are back up to some life here so that's very very helpful um ooh. wow okay well that's pretty good um we just get to kill that though right theoretically yeah we just get to kill it all right let's do this Let's start gaining some more life. I mean, we can draw a card here if we feel like we should. Kind of in the camp of, yeah, let's do it. I really like Tamaret here. Uh, let's do this. We're just eating their entire graveyard at this point. Uh, okay, um, we'll attack him. Primal Might would be a very good card. Oh, oh. <laughs> Wow, we barely survived. They did the right thing and attacked us, too. That's good. A lot of people I see make that mistake where they attack the Planeswalker, but the whole reason questing, part of the reason questing beast is so good is that you don't have to do that. Um, let's play land. Let's eat a thing. Yeah, do it. That's fine. We do really need to draw something here, so this is why we have to do this first, and then we can draw. Um, I don't know how much this helps us. <laughs> I mean, it kind of does, but like... Meh. We do that, then now we have a blocker. And we do have to leave it up. I don't love this. I think we're in just bad shape. This is a pretty interesting matchup, though, I will say. Um... Ooh, okay. That wins them the game, if I'm not mistaken. They get rid of that, and now they can just attack in, and we can't do anything. All right, well done, opponent. Uh, well, that was a really fun game, actually. I liked that one quite a lot. Uh, Mono Green right now is very, very good. We've played a number of them. Um, and my goodness, are they fun. Uh, I was trying to think if there was any other news. Uh, I know I got a little wrapped up in the game. I guess that's technically why we're here, but um, <laughs> I was trying to think if there was any other news that we needed to talk about. I don't think so. We do have some exciting like uh, other collaborative efforts, not necessarily with like YouTube channels, but just other um, individuals out there in the world um, that are coming down the pipeline that I'm really excited about. We've kind of reached out to a number of people to see 
just what kinds of things we can do to, to work with everybody. I think, um, you know, live streaming and collaborative efforts uh, are definitely the weak point of the It Resolves channel as a whole. Um, and so, and really the live streams just count, come down to time. I, I unfortunately do almost all of the content the reality is I just don't have time. Um, I, I also work a full-time job. There's a lot of things going on, uh, planning a wedding. I am engaged. Uh, and so there's a lot of stuff going on that unfortunately just means I don't have the time to live stream. Try to take advantage of it when I can. Um, although the last weekend we ended up playing, uh, or planning some live streams and then didn't end up doing it just due to, uh, to, um, planning for the JDC. But regardless, there's a, a lot of opportunity there for either live stream efforts or collaborative efforts. And collaborative efforts seem like the one that uh, would be not only kind of more fun, uh, just because we get to work with other creators, um, but I think also just a really nice next step. I think um, we've not been super active in just the general community. We've kind of focused on our own little community. Um, and as good as I think that that is, and as much as I love our little community, um, I do think that, you know, at some point if we're, if our goal is to get bigger and if our goal is to be the best channel we can be, then certainly that means we do have to, to work towards, um, you know, reaching a wider variety of people. Um, and so I think that's just kind of a, a sensible next step, uh, is all I will say. So that's kind of where we're at. Uh, at least I imagine that's kind of where we're at. This is interesting. I think we just do this. Hit for five. I don't know if that's correct. I'll be honest. Not 100% sure, but. Ah, well, that works. That did take up their turn, though. That's kind of interesting. Um, let's do this. Let's exile a card, then. And then we'll just play Gutter Bands, obviously. Uh, we do, if we want to bring this back, by the way, we do have to leave up a land, so, uh, or leave a card in hand, I should say. So let's just keep that in mind as we move forward. But, um, you know, this is a decent, decent place to be if they're not drawing lands. Uh, I feel bad though. This blue white flyers list is pretty potent. Um, sure. Oh, well, there's another one. Um, hmm. Let's do this, I think. And we'll attack here with just the gutter bones. Uh, I'm gonna leave this back. Uh, I think that that's the smart thing to do. Now, if they wanna answer this, they have to spend basically their entire turn doing so. If they don't wanna answer it, then, you know, we're kind of in okay shape. Sure, that's very good. Ooh, they don't want to answer it, okay. Hmm. We get to pump this guy up if we want. Are they going to block? The suspense. Please block with the eagle. Please block with the eagle. I would love that. Okay. That works. All right, it's perfectly fine with me. Um, this just means we get to eat a lot of what they do, which is nice. Sure, that's fine. Granted, they do, you know, they're getting a lot of stuff in as well, but uh, let's do this. Um, yes, do it. We're just gonna get a couple threats out, I think. Um, all right, and... Do we want to attack with both? We can bring all of these cards back except for this, so I'm kind of in for this. I don't know if this is correct, but we're going to try it. They can, like, block one-on-one, -on -one, save themselves all the damage, which is totally fine, but we also get an Imperion Eagle out of the way, as well as a uh, their second Watcher, um, which is pretty good. So there's not really a reason to pump here, uh, so let's just let this damage happen. 
and that's fine that's not great but now all we've got to do is deal damage to get this back i don't know if that's correct by the way that could have been an incorrect play but um we're dealing with a lot of their big threats pretty quickly here i mean look at their their graveyard we've gotten two watchers an eagle and a skycat sovereign that's pretty good that is pretty good ah <sighs> All right. Oh, well, that's great. You, do the thing. Uh, yes, this. Cool. Uh, each player discards a card. I'm not going to make them sacri or make each of us sacrifice a creature. I don't really think that that's worth it. They discarded a land? Did they have a land this whole time? No, they had the, the omen. They must have a killer hand, though, if they did that. That's a little scary. That's a little scary. Um, <laughs> sure, I guess. I mean, that's great in this deck. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty good. But. All right. Let's do this. Uh, yes. Pay the three. Discard. Gonna attack with both. This, I mean, there's no reason to leave Rankle up for any. I mean, there's nothing that it can block in this deck. This is a very interesting match. Um, and I think there's a very real chance that they come back very, very quickly from this. Um, but, you know, we'll see. I have hope. I have very high hopes. Um, whew, like I said, that's a good one. It's a very good start. Um, I wish we were drawing anything kind of butt lands, but they do mean that we get to do this. Um, so now the question becomes, do we actually just trade these guys off? I think this one, yes. Uh, maybe even this one. Let's just do it. We can't really do a ton anyway. They outvalue us long term, I think. And so we really just want to keep things moving forward in our favor. I don't know if that's 100% true, by the way. I'm learning. I am learning. Um, but I think that that's kind of correct here. Sure. Ooh, well, it's a good card. Uh, we can't discard anything, obviously, but... Yeah, we'll see. Chances are they can just, like, I don't know if they could win next turn, but they can get really close. Three, four, five. They can spit on another one, so six. They could deal minimum six to us. Which does mean these demonic embraces are essentially useless at this point. That being said, they have to leave something up for this, which I think is important. Oh. I think they might have messed up here. Can only block creatures with flying. Yeah. They just messed up. Uh, they should not have attacked with both of those. They could have blocked that. Woo! Bit of a misplay on the opponent's end. Um, but that's okay. Uh, so, so far, two wins uh, with this mono black discard deck. I really like this one. I think this is a very fun deck. Um... Oh, we've got so many things to do. Let's let's open a pack. We'll of course do three more games, so stay tuned for that uh, the the second round of gameplay for this deck. Oh, nice. Um, and I'm again very very excited for all the things coming down the pipeline. If you're interested in the JDC stuff, or if you've got anything going on there that you would like to take part in, please uh, give us a submission form. It's very very quick, very very easy. It takes all of two seconds to do. And that's just so we have our contact information in order. So please don't think that we're sharing any information or anything like that. But we just want to make sure that we've got everybody in one place so we can make it really, really easy to figure out who's going to be a part of everything. And then, of course, uh, send out communications as such. So really do appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you very, very soon for part two of this mono black discard deck. Thanks, guys.